Hello folks, just going to do another quick tutorial on um, how to use the envelope control within Fruity Loops or FL Studios, however you want to put it. Fruity Envelope Controller. We're going to control um, just a simple plugin that FL uh, gives you. It's going to be the this one here, which is the Fruity DX10. It's an FM synth. Like so, just, just a very basic, simple sound. Um, we're just going to control the sound uh, volume on that and I'll also show you how to control it within the plugin as well you can do what within the plugin basically with any other plugin not just the FL Studio ones uh, the default ones so um, okay so basically this is what it looks like you have uh, four different patterns and I'm just going to show you uh, this number two. Uh, now I'll make it number one just to make it simple. So okay, here we have basically what you have on um, same principle as any other uh, synthesizer effect um, on a plugin that you can use to make music with. Basically, they would have an A, uh, which is the attack, which is the first bit, depending on what you do. So you hit a key, and depending on how much attack you've got depends on how long it would fade in or if it won't fade in at all um, and so on. So we're going to put quite a long high volume fade in on that and then on this one what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, the middle which is the sustain or the decay so you have a decay on here like so that just uh, says how long the middle bit is held for so you held the note for so long and then at the end you've got the release. That's basically simple. You need to know, um, uh, and you've got the sustain, which is the volume of how long the decay lasts for, really. So that's basically very something simple there. And then we're just going to put in a simple, uh, simple tune. I think very simple, let's play that. Oh, it sounds terrible, but for, for the purposes of um of this, it's just gonna show you how the volume works um and the the controller works within FL. So you've got it here. And basically when you want to select an uh, automation, you wanna select the say we've got volume or um, pan. On this one we're going to select the volume for this electric piano so we're going to right click it and then where it says link to controller we're going to select that uh, let's bring this up. This is what the remote controller settings look like so I want to use the internal one because we have no hardware at the moment uh, to use so we're going to use uh, the internal controller and we've selected it on this first uh, pattern, this whatever you want to call it um, this one here. So it's the envelope controller on the first one. So we select that and then hit accept. Okay. So now at the moment we haven't set it so it's going to tell it to do anything. So what we want to do is we want to program it on. So every time it goes past that first first beat or whatever you want to call it, it will tell it to turn on that effect and do the uh, pattern in the controller. So if we play that you'll hear volume in and it will come come off. Okay, that was something very simple that we uh we we did there. And we can also do it with within the the plugin, the DX10 plugin. So for example, we could change here, let's change the wave so we we'll just play around with that just so it uh, says that we've used it and then we go up to here to the plugin settings and then we go to last tweet perimeter and then again as we did with the volume link to controller and then go to internal controllers and then there's this envelope control the first one what it's also telling us this time is that we've already selected it with the volume so it's saying that you've used it before and if it will remove the f settings for the volume so we want to 
to leave that on selected so it will automatically remove with uh, the other conflicting um, effects so just accept that and then once we play play this you'll see the wave move so if we play oh, we've still got the volume down on that it as as a random effect so you can do that with anything you know you can have a short a short or you can have make it longer so let's make it longer and then go back into the effect the dx10 and play so that's something very simple you can do it with you can um, also do it in the mixer as well so if we select that and link to controller and then the first one what we, what this time we're going to do is we're going to turn it off so that will also automatically keep it with the DX10 the wave that we've also set it with so accept Let's cool. so now once we play there's a lot to cram in in this screen so now we play we'll see this volume here uh, the wave controller and the volume on the master here so let's go ahead and play that it's quite quite a useful tool quite quite nice to use and if you don't want to use those controls anymore just uh, go to right click link to controller and then click on the internal control and just click none and then accept and you're sorted so all that's uh, finished with now so that's basically a very simple way of using the controller within FL Studios hope this tutorial has been used to you I hope you've learned something new and uh, keep up the good work this is Mr. Zero Six or Kelsey B hope you've enjoyed <laughs>